Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Jane and this is MJ Money Matters. Here in this space, I show you how I use the zero-based budgeting method to control and maintain a simplified money life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and stick around for more. Hi there, how are we doing today? At my last video, my, the sun was literally going down, and at this point, the sun is literally coming up. So, um, and I'm still at my desk. <laughs> I, I thought, I didn't know what the other video was going to do. I was like, I don't even know if people can see this, but <laughs> I gave it a, a spooky ambiance. Halloween a little early. All right, so what I'm working with today. So it is Wednesday, halfway through the week, and I get paid on Fridays. Okay, so we're going to estimate something in the neighborhood of $1,100. So that includes the credit card tips that I have, the cash tips that I've made so far, plus uh, a little side hustle that I've done. All right, so based on last week's check where I lost a significant amount of money and it really messed up my budget, I'm going to budget that in today. So I have estimated tax loss. I'm just going to say $100. I want to say last week it was about 80 <laughs> so uh we'll just uh give it a little buffer and say 100 and maybe that will be somewhere in the neighborhood of correct um that is the hard thing with inconsistent income being a surfer you're like it might be something like this but okay we're gonna go with it but i am gonna take a loss on this so that i don't mess up my budget like i did last week and I've also built a buffer into this one to cover the mortgage that was short last week. Because, you know, it happened. <sighs> what are you going to do? All right, so must pay the car this week. That is going to be $265. I'm more than halfway through uh, getting this paid off. So yay for that. Um... If you've watched this channel at all, you know I'm working towards starting a Turo fleet. And my goal there is purchasing cash cars. Um, and then my hope is that once this is paid off, that'll be it. I won't have any more car payments ever again. But never say never because you just don't know what's going to happen. And sometimes out of necessity, you have to do things you don't want to do. But my hope is that this will be it. So I'm like, I'm on, I've hit the hump. And now I'm rolling down the hill, which is also nice because I'm putting more towards the principal and less towards interest at this point. Um, you know how that works. So, so the tip out bank, $100. Will that be sufficient? No idea. But like I've done this week, when I have made cash, I've either used it to go to the grocery store and buy food or I've put it into the tip out bank for the most part. What is the tip at being? Well, at my job that I work at, being a server, I have to use money that I've made previously to pay daily the server assistants and bartenders towards the money that I will make <laughs> next week in a paycheck for credit card tips. So yeah, it's uh, this is how I'm just making this work in the um, envelope cash system is just creating a bank that I'm paying into predictably plus the extra that I'm getting in cash so it is what it is now for the mortgage I normally like to take out 200 for the week but because I caught a mistake and I was really screwed over by a tax loss last week I'm gonna do 300 to get us back on track Amazon Prime is gonna come out and I'm gonna do $20 a battery charger. So because I got this new phone, the um, chargers I have don't work. <laughs> like, of course, why would anything be easy? <laughs> I like to carry around a battery charger because there's so many times where I will leave and have multiple things to do, multiple gigs to do. And a lot of them rely on my phone. And so I can't just be around a plug. I really needed, um, a battery charger that I could travel with and I loved the one that I had. I loved it so much that I'm actually going to purchase <laughs> the same style in the new um, 
whatever they call it, flash charger style, whatever it is that I need, the different plug. And that's uh, around $20. Weebly, I was supposed to pay last week and I didn't have enough because of the tax issue. So I'm gonna pay it this time. I'm just stuffing that wallet. And I know it doesn't really matter because I pay it once a year and I'm just stuffing that wallet as we go. But it's not about the $15, it's about the consistency because it's a mindset. It's a mindset shift. If I allow myself like, oh, I'll do it later, then this all crumbles. <laughs> for me personally, I can only speak for myself. But I have to keep to these rules that I've established for myself to stay on track. Um, I have to, you know, make these deals for myself <laughs> because otherwise I'll just spend willy nilly and be like, I'll do that later. I'll do that next week. I'll do that next month. It's in a six months. I don't have to worry about it. And then I do need to worry about it. That's why I'm only doing 15 a month. And then, you know, it will, it will be there when I need it. So I really do feel like for myself, um, that way I can't, I'm not, it's a way in that envelope, but I did have to borrow against it for a tip out a while back and I'm still paying it back. <sighs> but by doing this, I have the money aside to borrow against it if I need an emergency. So that way I'm not relying on credit. I'm not getting a terrible loan with horrible interest or anything like that. So this is why this um, budgeting method has really worked out for me. It's why I'm sticking with it. It's why I really am championing it. Um, and it's very similar to the sort of system and processes that I use to get through college. It was like, you are going to do this reading today. You're going to do this assignment today. You're going to do this assignment next Thursday. And by staying on the track, that's how I was able to always consistently hit the small goals. And when you take all the small goals together, you get one big goal. So here I am. I'm holding myself accountable to that $15 that must be paid to Weebly. Gas. We're going to do $80 this week. We shall see. And um, paying back to savings, because I borrowed against that in an emergency, paying back $200. So where are we at with this? Let's take a look, pull out my handy dandy calculator. Hopefully we can see that home. Oh, if not, I'll just let you know. So it's 100 plus 265 plus 100 plus 300 plus 20 plus 20 plus 15 plus 80, 200, $1,100 even. Now, this is a hypothetical. I really don't know what that paycheck is going to be. Um, <laughs> we hope for the best and plan for the worst. Now, I did purchase a couple of things this week, which I'm so excited about. Um, and they are one-time purchases. So I got a couch and I got a coffee table. So they are one and done. And of course I'm working towards getting my stuff that's in my storage unit, but my storage unit doesn't have either one of these things. And I, you know, I've lived here for since March of 2023 with no couch and no coffee table. And I'm just like, I'm gonna treat myself. So the coffee table I bought from a small business and it's from a very good friend of mine. So I'm always, always happy to support. And the couch I got for 20% off on the July 4th sale. So I feel like part of having money set aside is so you can do things like this. Now the coffee table, um, I had a little FOMO there, fear of missing out because there's a big convention this weekend and they were taking what I'm going to be using as a coffee table. It's not a traditional coffee table um, to the expo. And then I got really fearful, boom, 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 that it was going to sell. And so I was like, eh, what can I do to get on it now? Now, what am I doing side hustle at that expo that they're doing? I um, have offered to help. So I'm being paid 
I think they were going to pay me in cash, but now I'm going to be paid in credit towards what I owe them for this. So I'm going to be helping them um, to load and um, unload at the shop from uh, the convention center. So it's not like it's tons of money, but number one, helping a friend. Number two, I'm not taking cash. I'm putting it towards credit that I purchased from them. Right. So, um, I, I don't, I don't even mind helping. Honestly, I would have done it for free, but they were like, no, no, no. We help our people. We pay our people. So it's cool. Like, so take that money and put it towards what I'm going to owe you on this. Um, they are using it at the expo, like I said, and, um, but it'll have a big sold sign on it, <laughs> so, but it's such a great piece. And it's one of their like centerpieces, uh, to like really draw you into that booth. So it's like, I was like, it's going to be, um, showcased in such an amazing way. I'm like, someone's going to buy it. So I was, and I've been, been looking at it and I've been admiring it. And honestly, this is one of the things that I told myself, like I tricked myself. I was like, you cannot buy anything for a coffee table until you have a couch. That's the deal I'm making with myself. And I'm not going to cross that line in the sand. And so I purchased the couch online and less than an hour later, <laughs> I went to her shop uh, to pick something up. And uh, it was very, very small you know, little money exchange or whatever. And I, and I saw it there and then it like haunted me for the rest of the day. And I was like, Oh my God, I've got the couch now. This was the deal I made with myself. And I just was like, no, you don't need it. You don't need it. You don't have the money for this right now. And I was like, but it's going to sell. It's going to sell at the event. And so I was like, okay, let me work at a layaway situation and I'm already helping them. So let me put it towards that. I have some money to put down. And, um, yeah, so I do DoorDash occasionally. I haven't done it in like over a year, honestly, but I'm a top dasher and all that crap. It may actually have changed, um, since I've done it. I think they may have gotten rid of the top dasher system I heard online, but if I want something really badly, it's like, that's what I say to myself. Will I DoorDash for it? And for that, I will, I will get my butt into the car and drive around and bring you McDonald's to your door, um, and a side hustle to, to get this coffee table. So I'm like, it, it is meant to be in there. It really is. So I'm going to be this passionate about it. The funny thing is it's more expensive than anything else in the entire room, <laughs> but that's okay. It's the focal point, right? Um, and it helped my friend and it's very unusual and it has a personal significance to me and what I've been through, uh, which I know is rare for a coffee table, but it's not meant to be a coffee table. I'm reutilizing it for that. So there'll be another piece that I need to purchase that will have like legs and wheels, but I'm not going to worry about that now. <laughs> I'll worry about that tomorrow. Thank you, Vivian Lee. All right. So thank you so much. Um, if you remember from the last video that I did and a couple of videos, I have applied to Starbucks. At this point, I've applied, I've applied to over 20 Starbuckses. Starbuck guy, is that the plural? So, you know, this whole, just go out and get a job. Not panning out so well on things that are very simple, like baking coffee. Um, I do have an interview tomorrow for a teaching position for the year. It's third grade social studies. So I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I feel like I enjoy elementary. I think it would be interesting to just teach the one subject, almost like they a round robin, like they go into the different rooms. And so I just teach social studies over and over and over again to the different classes in a way like like you would an elective like PE or art or whatever we'll see they may not like me I may not like them I, I don't really know um but you know doing everything I can to try to make these goals come true and of course with teaching elementary school you're hopefully I would imagine off at a 
reasonable time so that I could, you know, make it to the restaurant uh, where I work five days a week. And um, this is what I did last time, last school year. I don't want to say calendar year. It, they don't follow a calendar year, but the school year. Um, and I was able to meet so many amazing goals because I just really worked it. And I really didn't want to have to do that again, but it's just the way, it's the way forward, you know, to decrease your expenses and increase your um, income. <laughs> it's just the easiest and fastest way to make your goals happen. It's not always something that you want to do, but sometimes it's the necessary thing to do to get where you're trying to go. I'm like, can I do it for one more year? Um, and by the way, it is for just the year. It's not working for the school. It is again in the contract position. So, you know, no benefits, no union, no, nothing like that. But it, the benefits of being a 1099 employee, uh, which for me are many. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Okay, y'all have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.